hi everyone today we will be working with an example for array like normally in the in industry uh, the introduce interviewer may ask questions like uh, copy a memory a to memory b those kind of things he may ask uh, now we will uh, going with an example let's say we have a memory a and memory b and the depth of the memory a is 512 and it is 32 bit width and memory b will be 1024 and its size will be like width of this memory will be 16 bit so basically the question here is like copy the memory a to memory b so let's say here we have the 32 bit data so 0 to 31 and here we have 0 to 15 so <clears throat> what we need to do is just we need to copy uh, this data 0 to 15 into 1 and 16 into 1 let's say here the memory size is if I see that memory B will be like this like it will start from 0 to and it will end at uh, 1023 so and in the same case and memory B uh, sorry memory A will be let's say here we have the memory A. so here one data will be having with 32 bits and here data will be 62 bit sorry 16 bit so here 0 to 31 will be there so what we need to do is we need to copy content of this two and this one the first one let's say here we have on, on some data xxx so that should be xxx and next other data will be yyy so in this second memory location like 0 1 so yyy should be there so this is the logic i can say so for this we need array so how we can do is like let's say we will be having a memory a and just say that memory a mm, so declare normally logic is simple copy this to this so now uh, generate on uh, 32 bit data with a uh, random dollar like a dollar random you use it and uh, like let's say memory a of i so the data will be generated randomly and that data is to be moved to memory b so let's say here we have the memory b and location wise let's say consider one memory location so here we have memory a uh, at zero location we have and in the memory b just uh, observe that data is 32 bit here so one 32 bit data will be uh, generated so what we need to do is copy the lower um, meaning 0 to 15 lower bit data and upper bit data 16 to 31 so here lower data i can copy like whatever the data will be there from here like uh, let's say 15 down to 0 i will be copying like here memory a of zeroth location so let's let some zoom it memory a of zeroth location copy and this 15 down to 0 i will be assigning okay one thing is done and other part memory a of that zeroth location and the next six, uh, 16 bit data like 31 down to 16 so i need to copy it to the second memory location memory b so this is how we need to do and if i go with the next memory location like generated data uh, let's say memory a of first one and 15 down to 0 and memory uh, okay let's say first one and the other data split this data to 15 down, uh, 31 down to uh, 31 down to 15 so here now memory b of third so memory b of fourth see if you observe that variables here it is keeping constant like constant in the sense first memory location here 0 1 and here 1 then again 3 4 so logic here is uh, the memory b let's say here whatever that we are getting right like we should be using one for loop here understand the requirements one we need for loop and uh, variables like here 0 is there 0 is fine 0 is there next 0 plus 1 
in in that sense i'm telling like here zero so maybe here two and three should be there sorry so two and three should be there understand the logic see zero zero sorry zero 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 and one next one here is two and three so uh, if you observe like we need some logic here like memory uh, let's say memory a i will be giving that random value will be generated for generating the data okay now we are able to generate the data and now copy that memory a of i and then 15 down to 0 to 1 and assign it to memory b same value okay fine now memory b so 0 and 1 so i plus 1 i will be using and the next one memory b sorry memory a of i and um, other upper bit data so so this is how we need to go so now for loop will be like copying from 0 to file 11 and end it so here if i use my for loop is like for uh, let's say declare int i equals to 0 i is less than 512 and keep on increment i and add begin and end here so if you observe every time we will be generating a data copying to the memory like um 15 down to 0 i will be copying to one location and upper bit data i will be copying to the second memory location so first it will come and second so here let's say this is memory b so likewise we need to understand so now we are clear with the logic now let's try to execute on the edf playground so let's say i will be opening one so we we okay <clears throat> so let's say one more new media playground let's say here i'll be adding is model db and end model so here like declaration so with some um, memory a will be 31 down to 0 declare this as memory a and bit the other memory location is 15 down to 0 and this is memory b and now let's apply the logic here initial begin and next line end so what we need is one for loop i'll be using for let's declare int i is equals to 0 i is less than 512 and increment i so here one more begin and end for our references so begin and now generate a data for memory a so memory a of i equals to dollar generate a data like i can use a dollar u random or random anything so now for now let's say you random I will be calling this dollar u random function and now let's say display that data whatever the for our comp uh, comparison purpose so display memory a data is just add it uh, in hexadecimal so let's say we will be adding zero we will be going through that zero and all later see normally what will happen is if i don't add that zero it will take that entire string uh, meaning entire the memory size so we'll be checking that zero when to give zero when not to give so as of now let's add it and later we can see so the data is generated the memory a of i okay this data is done and now what we need to do is copy this memory data of 15 down to 0 to memory b so if i add it memory b of i one thing is done now display memory b copy it 
and paste it and memory just say memory b mm, okay memory b okay memory b lower <coughs> lower bit data so lower bit data is and just say this memory b so in the same way again copy and paste it so upper bit data we need so memory i so here 31 down to 16 i'll be adding and here memory b upper bit data and add it memory i so here i plus one so whatever the data we will be having that displays so okay so now whatever the data we are able to see now see just check any syntax error and i'll just save it it is asking some letter i will be using synopsis vcs version save it and run it and check any errors or something huh, see um, base of the column cannot be multi-dimensional net array so here at line number 19 it is showing an error memory b of i So memory okay 13 bit data memory b of i plus one what it is saying is this one memory is of the point cannot multi-dimensional net array check that memory size oh, okay see we have just added the memory depth we have not added that's why we are getting this one so here our memory a is 512 and memory b will be 1024 and now save it run it once again hmm. see now we are able to generate some data okay just analyze this one see memory data a is this one and the lower bit data is e8 c6 e8 c6 and next one x double a for you this is the data whatever generated in the next one check it like 4 e d6 4 e d6 e8 to 7 this is how normally we will be checking so now if you see like it has repeated for 5 and 2 to check how many number of counts this loop got executed just add on variable count plus plus for our references declare this int cnt and add that as value well zero save it and at the end display like int value is count is like how many times it got repeated add it as a this integer we will be adding m percent zero d so c and t so it and run hmm. so now coming okay just hmm, see count is 5 1 2 so it will be keep on checking for 0 to 5 level 11 it means that it will be checking for 5 1 2 see normally if i don't give this 0 just check just see the observation here count is and whatever the number we got 512 so if i don't add the zero here let's see in our console meaning in our logs so we will be having see this is the x <clears throat> so it will be taking like integer is 32 bit data so it will be keep on the memory is reserved for the next other bit data so that's why let's say if i don't add zero see uh, let's check this one memory b so now nicely we can see this 2d59 and e062 and all so if i don't add so in logs like the logs we will be generating not uh, we will be like it will be generating so see here the displaying will be a little bit different so the next whatever the data we will be having those things will be there so it's always better to add zero okay just remove this one and see so 
okay so here the data is whatever the we are generating okay for now uh, normally i used to add zero for the decimal like uh, integer types and all so for now it is giving proper it means it's okay so just make sure that whatever we write in our sequences that has to be clearly mentioned so uh, as of now it is okay but during going ahead like if you want to calculate some of the frequency duty cycle and all that, that time it will be difficult so it's better to add something like that zero uh, normally i prefer zero so that it can play it can be readable format easily so now this is what how we can copy memory a to memory b even vice versa is possible so it's just about the arrays how we can use and all so now we'll stop here.